It's Bar's Life with ONG. Co-hosting tonight is comedian Baba the Baba and MC Passion. Plus, veteran Nollywood star Shagun Arize came visiting. Woman with expect picking from God, not they wear clothes sleep. This one fine, this one fine, I make Chris man gather load for bus stop. No matter how big your eye you can see the future. I'm happy that you said we are young people yes. because we can't take your role as an old man in the business. <laughs> <laughs> and we are really okay, young. let's go on straight. I'm a very young man. As well, people, you bring I'm a young them, boy, young boy. Give them little opportunity. <laughs> they start calling you old. Okay. The only marijuana that can make you exhibit such an activity is ukwale. When you light it, when you put fire on it, yes, you understand? Sound. It starts to give sound effect. Pra, pra, you know? pra. <laughs> This one not spoke well, well. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I explained to us my children. They, <laughs> <laughs> yes, now. Nah, which jail? Can they give they you? have the right to be in the jail. Which which if you jail? can watch cable channel, why can't they give you bail? Why is there's no jail that gives bail? No, you, you can have Have you been to jail before? The female... No, they are family jail. They give bail. <laughs> <laughs> because if you tried that in front... See, see, he tried that in front of a police. If you tried that in front of Nigerian yeah. army, that's why you know there's a difference between canteen and restaurant. They will slap you. They will beat you very well. And this man, eh, one of my friends said, um, there's a way you smoke in there, you will not know the difference between obituary poster and election poster. <laughs> the man smoked in there, he saw obituary poster. The man died at the age of 82. When he saw the poster, he looked at the man. We will not vote you. <laughs> you failed us the first time. Because <laughs> your auntie so, cannot what? be there when you they have somebody like you. And you have made it though. And you have an auntie that cries for a living. My brother. No, no, I don't understand this. Do you so know how you, much these people make from crying? There's an average of six to seven barriers a week. Hmm. One cry, 5,000. How much? How much? Uh -huh. I would have the five show. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, so, sir, one cry. This one cry, 5K. Please, before they give me the number, please. Uh -huh, thank you. Uh, did you have the event manager? Can cry event? Monday to Friday, then Saturday, <laughs> anchor weddings. <laughs> Thirty years. Thirty years in the movie industry. Thirty iconic years. Sir, how? has the journey been so far? Because you've been there even before the whole home video industry, uh, as it is, started, you know, with soaps and so on and so forth. Uh, Ralph, I, I was in more than 30 years, actually. Whoa. It's because I started way, way back in, in secondary school, Victory College of Commerce, ADD, in Kwara State, after Oro, um, the outskirts of Ilori. Um, I got to meet a friend in Ilori, that my parents were in Ilori, and um, we used to go to the, uh, arts and culture centers and um, we used to do plays, we talk and he said he liked my voice and he, he felt I would make a good actor and he wanted to introduce me to the theater and I, I said okay let's give it a shot. And so we did um, Ken Sarawiwa's Transistor Radio huh. then um, that was in 19 um, that was in 1981. Came around it, uh, my friend uh, Randy Oju Olakbe and um, the producer on NTL, and then Abdul Drodola. Just there on, on youth scene, we'll do drama, do music, and then there was this producer as well, Joe Lukwidi. So quite a number of people that, we, that I worked with who helped to shape and mold me while I was in secondary school. I was actually on my way out. Um, I did enjoy that celebrity status in secondary school, and of course I had a cult following. But some of my teachers then uh, also um, helped me, particularly my literature and my Bible teacher. Um, so there was a lot of encouragement. And so I, I just followed on that trend. And after that, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I told my dad, he said no. He frowned out it. He said, no, you want me to be a lawyer? Huh. Uh, <laughs> my dad had this thing about wanting me to be a lawyer, oh, but maybe because he was only getting into trouble <laughs> at work. <laughs> but um, I, one night he woke me up to see me to see myself, they were using me for a trailer. And uh, we said, look at that. I said, okay, fine, that's, what do you think of it? He says, uh, so long as you don't jettison school. So when we got back to Lagos, I joined Ananza Playhouse briefly. Um, then went to Ife. It was called University of Ife then. And then I left Ife in 1986 and came back to join Ananza, Ananza Playhouse after I graduated in 1986. So